Hey, what's up, guys? King J coming to you live from hell. And today I want to talk about letting go of desires, detachment, realizing that everything that you think you are might not be allowing you to be who you want to be or who you always dreamed of being. When we limit ourselves or when we say, I know I'm this person and I love being this person, you set a limit. You're ha- you're at a ceiling, and uh, think about it like with exercise. If you, it's like going to the gym and saying, "I'm only going to lift a certain amount of weight because that's who I am, and I like being that person." You don't see anything other than what's in your world and in your bubble. Perfect example is I only wore Adidas clothes. I only wore Adidas shoes. I eventually started liking the brand Champion, so I started getting Champion shirts because I thought, oh yeah, but as long as I just wear the shoes. And then I needed some sandals, so I went to a store and I was looking at all the different sandals and I wanted some Adidas ones because I've only worn Adidas for the past 10, 12 years already. And then I I just, I, I didn't have my size in these sandals and I saw some really cool ones and they were Nike and I thought well I can't get them they're Nike and I thought why do I do that why have I done that what has that ever gotten me nothing so I got the sandals they're awesome sandals I'm enjoying them and the main example that I had thought about uh, for this video is an episode of Futurama which I didn't get a chance to go back and see so if I'm missing any of the details it's honestly irrelevant but it's just the story and I remember watching this when I was a kid and it really stuck with me it's an episode where Fry uh, was in love with Lucy Liu and they ended up they started cloning they started like having robots that were direct clones of real people so he had a Lucy Liu bot and then he fell in love with her and then all the robots turned evil but he couldn't let go of this Lucy Liu bot and the funniest part is that the real Lucy Liu came out as a head in a jar and was like fry let go it's just a robot it's not even me and he just couldn't because in his head he had already developed this attachment for this robot who had turned evil already and so what we need to remember is that a lot of times we attach to things because we think they define us and they don't and a lot of times we think we get we give things and people power that they don't want they don't deserve they wouldn't know what to do if they knew they had it over you but we think they know and we think that they're doing us an injustice if they if they wrong us. Everybody's living their life. Everybody is doing what they think is right in their own frame. The only thing we could focus on is our frame. It always starts with us. It's only you. It's only me. So when you start to notice, why do people say these things to me? Why are people always using me or this or that? Whatever, right? You have to remember that you're attached to that person. To, to whatever they're saying. You're the one that's giving those those words meaning. You're the one that's giving everything that happens to you meaning. And with that same thing, like it, with that same energy that you're giving meaning to it, you can let it go. And I realized that I woke up uh, from a crazy dream and I just thought, man, that dream was crazy. I wonder what it means. And then I started thinking about the meaning of it and, and debating in my head. And I thought, oh yeah, that's a really cool dream. Uh, or a really crazy dream and then I thought you know what's funny is I have such an easy time forgetting about the meaning of that dream because it was just a dream if it was real the meaning would have to be real because it's real life and that's when I realized it's not I create the meaning always in, in everything that happens to me I'm I'm the creator of how I see things so Therefore, you have to take your own power back. A lot of times we don't want our own power because we don't trust ourselves. And so it comes back to trusting yourself, being your number one fan, being a parent to yourself. You know what you need. You know what you want. And even if it's not at the brim of your brain, your subconscious mind and your true heart knows who you are, knows what you want. And that is the main thing. If you know who you are and don't like who you are deep down, that is that's the limit that's what's gonna stop you that's the only thing in your way and you'll start to realize that it was never about anybody else it was never about what anybody told you it's just about what you believed 
And as easy as you could believe it, you could unbelieve it and let that go and just detach from every, and the thing is you, you can't, you, you can't just focus on what you think is good because what you think is good may not actually be good for you if you have bigger plans. So you have to let go of all the things you think are good and the things you think are bad. You have to let go of the memories that you hold on to because those memories are gone. You're never going to forget them, but the meaning the intense meaning that you give to things, it wasn't that, that meaning wasn't there when those things were happening. You developed that meaning at the more that you sat and thought and relived all these moments over and over again. And you added more, or you took away more things from it. If only I could have said this, or if only this could have happened to me. Uh, th uh, these circumstances in my life would have never been this way. Then th the truth is, it doesn't work that way. It, it's, it's fate. But it's a fate that if you're aware of it, you can not manipulate, but just let go, let go. There, there shouldn't have to be trying. There shouldn't have to be a manipulation. You should just live and not worry about what's hap what, what happens. The second that you put something on a pedestal and the second that you have a desire that's so important and if it doesn't happen, your life is going to be over, that's the second that your life is already over because when you get that thing, that feeling won't go away because the feeling has nothing to do with receiving that thing. We think that when we get what we want, for example, if you feel unattractive and then you get attention from the opposite sex or the same sex and it makes you feel good, you start to wonder, why, don't I, why, why do I not still feel good? It's because it had nothing to do with receiving that love or that validation or that admiration because it wasn't within you. You can't feel something if it's not within you. You know what I mean? If that energy isn't within you, nobody's energy can give you that. That's the only way that it works. So when you go about your day, you have to remember, what am I holding on to? What do I need to let go of? And you can't be scared of letting go because letting go, it, it, it doesn't help you. It doesn't serve you at all. I mean, uh, attachment doesn't help you. It doesn't serve you at all. Letting go is what serves you because in the unknown is where everything shows you what you are in the unknown is where magic happens as Aaron Dowdy would say look him up on YouTube he's a he's a good guy um, I think that as we go more or as I go more into this journey I start to wonder am I doing everything right is and, and the funniest thing is that I've not really gotten anything different. The only thing that's changed is my perspective, yet I feel completely different. But then I have these highs and lows because I and, and then I think, wait, what am I worried about? Oh, I'm worried that I'm not doing this process right. What process? I'm just letting go. I'm literally just being me and not letting anything define me, even myself and especially myself and only myself because I'm the only one at the end of the day that can give anything in my life meaning so that one thing that you think you have to be you know like I love rapping rapping is my favorite thing to do when I'm rapping I feel alive I feel I'm in complete expression I'm in a flow state it's beautiful and I create this music and I love creating the music but that is not me it's a product of me it comes out of me and that's what's special, but all that stuff is just, it's just, it's whatever. You know, it's like Mike Tyson. He's looking at his belt. He says, these things are garbage. It doesn't mean anything to me anymore. At one time it did, but now what matters to me is my children. What matters to me is my family. So the more that we put attachment on certain things, the more that we put resistance between that thing and us. So it needs to feel natural. If, if something is like, feels crazy to get like a person is like, man, they will never love me. Then, then it's not natural for you. You don't feel worthy enough. And a lot of times we blame them for not wanting us, but it's all about us. We don't feel worthy. They didn't do anything to make us feel worthy, even if they said stuff. The only reason they said stuff is because we put that energy out there first. We attract what we receive. So if, and I've noticed it with a lot of people in my life, the energy dynamic that they, uh, would I mean I'm not even conscious of it but they're 
forcing me to give them energy that makes them feel like that I'm resistant towards them because they're too needy because they it's just and it's simple when you look at it it's very simple if someone's too needy that causes resistance because nobody wants to feel that pressure you know and now I realized wait I was even falling in that same trap without even knowing it because I just thought man there's something off about this energy dynamic with this certain person but when you let go of all that you realize wait I can be completely honest with you I could tell you what I'm feeling and thinking and I don't have to worry about what you have to say because whatever you have to say has nothing to do with me even if you make it about me even if they're trying to make it about you it's never about you only you make things about you it's very important to remember so letting go of desires because you can have desires you can have wants you want them no matter what but letting go of the resistance letting go of the self-concept that says you're not worthy um, and and realizing that your desires are not you you are you and if you deserve your desires they'll come they'll be right there waiting for you and and that's the thing you can't wait for your desires your desires are coming to you if you're waiting you're gonna always be waiting it's like procrastination I'll start tomorrow guess what that's what your desire is doing the more that you feel less worthy for it the more that you don't feel worthy it's saying I'll go when he's ready and or, or she's ready you're not ready until you've let go of all resistance you're not ready until you have you think it's giving up and really no it's it's giving up on trying stop trying and just do and don't worry about what you think is failure failure is subjective mostly everything is subjective but failure is is it's only defined as a failure by you one person's failure is another person's victory so that's what I feel every day every day I win when I wake up that's a win when I go to the gym that's a win when I when I stick to my diet plan that's a win when I get my goals done that's a win when I make this video when I upload this video that's a win it's a win no matter what outcome comes out of it whether a million people watch this or hear this or nobody hears this I made it I wanted to make it it's done that's a win that's a victory and every victory is taking me closer and closer to nothing because I already won that's the important thing to remember when you feel as though you've already won because you know you're deserving of winning then everything else is irrelevant you get what you want when you're grateful for what you have and you feel worthy of what you want so let go of desires let it go don't worry about it anymore you already got it you should know that deep 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 down that's where it counts the thoughts they come and go thoughts are irrelevant it's the beliefs it's what you really feel inside thank you for watching let me know what you think in the comments below I'm going to catch you in the next one. King J, out.